All right, we finally have paint on this airplane. We have gray on the bottom, on the fuselage, and you can see the trim lines that I drew on. Um, I've painted the bottom of the wings. You can see the difference between primed and painted. So all the flying surfaces on the bottom of the aircraft are painted. And what we're gonna look at now is the next step, which is to mix a dark shadow for color modulation. Color modulation is basically a fancy way of saying adding shadows and highlights to a surface so that you accentuate the three-dimensionalness of it, three-dimensionality of it. So we're going to take the original gray that I used on the bottom and add 50% anthracite, anthracite gray to it. Um, that's MMP 140, Mission Models Color Anthracite Gray. I'm going to mix 50-50, make a shadow, draw in all the dark shadows, you know, that are on the bottom of the airplane, and then I'm going to mix up 50% white with the medium gray, and that's just basic white. Make a highlight, and go back and trim all the shadow lines, and then add a little bit of highlight, and that'll make it a little more three-dimensional. I'm going to do that on the bottom, and I've also got olive drab colors here for the top and we're going to color modulate that as well when I spray it. So getting really far along here we're actually adding weathering so let's get down to it and do some color modulation. Okay let's take a look at one of the flying surfaces that I'm going to color modulate. If you look at this I'm hoping that this shows up in the camera if not I'll explain it as I go along but you can look on here and see the panel lines where panels of aluminum meet each other and then there's rivet lines in between them where you know the the aluminum has been riveted down so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the dark shadow and just highlight where the panels meet not all the rivets and everything just the panel lines and then I'm going to go back with the light color and just kind of fill in and touch up okay it's really simple dark shadow light shadow on the panel lines I'm going to do that over the entire aircraft Okay, so I have my dark shadow mixed up, and I'm going to switch over and use a Badger Sotar airbrush. I have never used this Sotar 2020. I bought it on a whim, and it's supposed to be really good for fine detailing. So we're going to check it out together and see how it is. If it doesn't work out that well, maybe we'll switch back to the Sparmax, but let's try this guy and see how it does. Spills it all over himself. Okay. Turn on the air compressor. I'm going to put on the fan so it's going to get a little noisy. It's a pretty sweet airbrush. Let's see. Really fine lines. See how it does. Okay, my analysis and my, my decision is that this is a keeper. This is a really nice airbrush to work with, with the Mission Models paint. As you can see, I did all the shadows there really quickly. Now what I'll do is I'll do more shadows and then come back and trim these down with the, the highlight. So, 
Sotar 2020 by, by Badger. Not a bad gun. Yeah. Really fine lines. So I've done my first step with color modulation, which is the dark shadows. I mixed up the 50-50 mix of anthracite gray and the original neutral gray, medium gray, and I sprayed dark shadow lines on all the panel lines and hatch lines and everything on here. Anywhere where I thought there would be a shadow, I went ahead and I sprayed it. Now, it looks kind of ugly to start with. That's just because this is the rough, rough paint. Um, what I'll do now is I'll take some regular gray, the original gray, and go back and spray and trim around all this and clean it up. And then I'll do some highlights. So this is the first step of color modulation. Clean that up and we'll go on to the second, which is the highlights. All right, I'm finished putting in my dark shades and then cleaning them up with the base color gray. So everything's all cleaned up, really looks nice. You can see all the panel lines. What we're gonna do now is mix up the light highlight. And originally I said 50-50 on this, but I think I'm gonna go about 25 to 30% white into the gray. I don't want it to get too chalky looking. So I'm gonna mix up my highlight. I'm gonna airbrush that on, and that should finish the base, or I should say the underside color of this aircraft. And we can move on to the olive drab on top and do color modulation on that as well. Painting the highlight color is the opposite or reverse of what you just did with the dark shade. You went into the panel lines with the dark shade. Now what you're going to do is just kind of highlight the broad areas with a lighter color gray. But you have to be really careful doing this because you can overdo it really quickly. just want to give it a little bit of a mist in those areas just to pop it up a little bit. So I'll do a little bit. You can see what I'm doing. As you can see, I've got all the dark shadows painted into this fuselage and onto the wings and the tail surfaces. So the next step in color modulation is going to be to do the base color up top. And let me grab this guy here. You can see the bottom color on here is what we just put on, the dark color. The middle color is what we're going to do now, and we're going to fill in and trim up all these dark shades with the base color and then when that's all done I'll hit it with the top color which is a highlight so that's your color modulation dark shadow base color and then highlight and if you notice I'm masking off in between here the top area and the bottom area and I'm taping along the bottom line so that as I paint the olive drab up top I get that nice crisp fresh line here that's for the camouflage and I'm going to do that on both sides and then I'll probably cover the bottom with some paper so I don't get anything on the gray. And we're ready to go on the base coat. After I get all the edges taped off, I like to put paper over the exposed areas that have been painted, in this case the bottom of the fuselage. So it's just basically printer paper out of your printer. Cut pieces to size and then just tape in between where you already taped. And I try not to get too much of the tape surface on the, the paint. So. We're all ready to go. Time to paint. We finished putting all the paint on the airplane now. The gray underneath, the olive on top, and what I'm doing now is I'm masking off some of the detail areas, like there's 
black de-icer boots that are on the front of the wings here on the, the leading edges to keep the uh, wings from icing up in you know cold temperatures. And you have to do that on the tail surfaces as well. You tape off the front section, as you can see. And I'm taking this opportunity to show you a great product. This is from Tamiya, and it is... <laughs> It is 150 millimeter masking tape with plastic sheeting. Okay, that's this right here. I'll show you. It is item number 87203. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. 87203. What it is is it's masking tape that already has plastic attached to it. And the plastic folds down so that it's longer if you wanted to. It comes in different lengths. I use, I use paper, as I've shown earlier in this, and I just discovered this product, and I love it. This saves you a lot of time masking off big areas of your airplane. You just mask the edge off, and you just run the plastic down. It, it works really great. So this is Tamiya 87203, and that is masking, sheet, masking, masking tape with plastic sheeting. Great product. So what we're going to do now is finish masking off the leading edges and the leading edge of the tail. Paint those black. Finish painting my cowlings. I need to paint those. And then I'm on to decals. So we're just about done painting. So stay tuned. We finally made it. The B-17 is painted. Top sides, undersides. Got my olive drab. Got my blue. My well, I should say my gray. My aircraft medium gray under there. Nice crisp masking there. You notice there's a sheen on the aircraft. That's because after I get everything painted I put a coat of semi-gloss clear Mission Model semi-gloss clear MMA005 on the whole aircraft. And That's because I'm going to go ahead and start putting my markings on the aircraft. I'm going to bring the fuselage over to the workbench. I've started to cut out the decals for it. I'm going to start applying decals.